Okay, so let's start first with green bean casserole. This is one of my favorites, but I will admit I eat it sort of the traditional way. I'm curious to see what you've got in store for us. Okay, so really quick, this is not your traditional cream of mushroom with the fried onions. We use a cauliflower crust that we've gone ahead and cooked and crumbled up for the topping, which makes it delicious, and some toasted almonds, and that's the trick to making it fabulous. Okay, that sounds delicious. I will try it. I've got the ingredients here. Uh, next, let's move on to stuffing or dressing, whatever you call it. Let's make it a little heart healthy, a little carb conscious. What do you do? So we take some vegetables. Again, you'll have the recipe online, saute them. But the key, once again, is adding a grain-free, gluten-free Italian cauliflower crust into the mixture. And it's tasty, that's important, right? I was gonna say, it looks delicious. I love all of that stuff. Now, another one of my favorites is oh, mashed potatoes. But do you, can you do, I mean, cauliflower mashed potatoes are a thing at this point. They are a thing, but I wanna say that people still struggle making them. And I think the tip for me to you is to use a cheesecloth or a milk bag. It's really important to drain all the liquid out, but that's the key to making mashed potatoes, cauliflower mashed potatoes, like mashed potatoes. You know, the, the telltale for me would be like, if nobody knows that it's cauliflower. <laughs> Well, again, it's so bland, so put whatever you want with it, and that's what you're going to taste. Okay. Uh, let's talk about quiche, because this is something we, you know, might cook in the morning, before the big meal, and uh, very, you know, kind of quick, easy, and can, can be healthy. The great thing about this is you can bake it the night before and then reheat it. You can feed everyone the day, the morning of Thanksgiving, so they're out of the kitchen. They've had something with high protein, low carb, that'll be fulfilling until Thanksgiving dinner. You can put anything you want inside the egg mixture. Yeah, I've got like broccoli here, some asparagus, really just go wild. Go wild, whatever you, whatever your heart's desire. Now I see that you have a little dessert option there. Absolutely. So again, I've taken cauliflower. This time I've used their flatbreads. And the trick to this is I've taken a muffin pan upside down, put the flatbread inside 400 for about 10 minutes and it makes this cute little base. Now for the filling, you'll have the recipe online. It's truly, it's truly one of my favorite things. 